I know it's been a little while since we've uh, announced our plans, <laughs> and we've been doing a lot of talking about it. But now we've finally hit the road. Yep. Season, Season two, two starts, starts now. now. No one is more surprised about this decision than I am. We were test driving F-150s and Ram 1500s and then we got a lot of feedback saying that we should consider the GMC Sierra as well. So we did and well there was a lot that we liked about it. More on that next week. So we were looking at a lot of different trailers, most of them brand new, just because we couldn't find anything in the used market that actually fit all of our criteria. However, we found one. This is the Tracer 230 FBS, and it checks all of our buttons. So we were so, so happy to have found it. And here we are out in the wild with it. So we've gone through our checklist and the trailer is all packed up and hitched up and ready to go on its very first trip. So Mel's driving with the trailer for the very first time. You can see behind us you can see in the rear view mirror is black. <laughs> but we've got trailer mirrors. We can at least see around us. Yeah, so we've equipped with our new snap-on trailer mirrors and they are awesome. All right, so plan A failed. We went up to Emory Creek and it was just absolutely slammed. Talked to the ranger, he said there was no chance. So that's always the risk with first come first serve. It's only Thursday, but I guess a lot of people took a long weekend since it's beautiful weather. So we're heading to our second backup option, which is Silver Lake, just slightly south of Hope. So the second park was very, very full as well. Um, we need to stop for a little bathroom break, so we pulled into this little just off the road thing here. They have a little fire pit already. <laughs> I mean, it's well off the road. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see if anyone comes by and says, uh, asks us what we're doing. So we've talked about it and we're gonna try and set up here. See what happens. I mean, the worst thing that can happen is someone can come along and say, hey, you can't be here. And then we'll just hitch up and head home. Our friends were just telling us one of the rules that they tend to go by when they're camping is um, always leave your site cleaner than when you arrived. And then everyone can enjoy it. So do your part. <laughs> A glove, ironically. So just on this small site here, we've collected a whole bag full of just crap left behind. It's like if you're gonna boondock, clean up after yourself. Leave no trace. You tell them. <laughs> yeah, there was, there was two baby diapers in that bag and that's pretty gross. <clears throat> Yeah, the baby diapers in the fire was probably the worst. Gross. Well, we just woke up at our little roadside boondocking site and Mel's cooking up some bacon. Mmm, tasty bacon.
All right, someone told me this water was cold. <laughs> Feels like bath water to me. Three, two, one. Doing corn. Say hi. Now we're husking the corn. Jay? We're famous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's looking nice and yellow. We gave it an extra five minutes and I think it's just the perfect amount. So how long on total on the barbecue? I have no idea. Okay. Be the taste tester. Mmm. Mmm. Thumbs up. Good Chilliwack corn, mm -hmm. best. All right, we're witnessing perfect marshmallow technique here. The rotation right on the coals, just that beautiful golden color, probably a nice inside that's mushy, but not too mushy. And now it's gonna go up in flames. <laughs> <laughs> It's smoking actually on the one edge, it might. Oh, oh I think he got it success. exactly perfect. The perfectly <laughs> toasted Look marshmallow. At Beautiful. So what do you do if you are boondocking and you want a nice espresso? Well, a very good friend of mine got the mini presso. Get just the right amount. And put that there. Transfer the coffee to your filter. Put the filter down here. Put your little device on top and screw it in. And then we'll just wait for the water to boil. Oh, he really doesn't like the whistling. <laughs> He's like, uh-oh. I remember that thing. That thing sucks. Now that we have some boiling water, we just pour it into our little water compartment here very carefully. And we screw this on top. Now we pop this out. And then... Hmm. <sighs> Espresso while boondocking. So Mel and I are A-B testing the best way to cook a hot dog. So what do you think, the up and down or the side to side? Tell us in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm losing mine already, so I'm nope, starting. No, no comment. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you doing there? I gotta switch to the B method. <laughs> I got damage at the side. Yeah, and even cooking. So right now the B method is looking a little better. Well, good morning. It is day four of our boondocking adventure. And we were planning to pack up today and head home around lunch. However, last night, at about 2 a.m., we got woken up by click, 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 click. And we're like, uh, whoa, what is that? It's like, oh, it's the fridge trying to light. Oh, all right, we're out of propane. Okay, no worries, let's just like turn the fridge off and sleep and we'll fix it in the morning when it's light. Okay, wake up around 7.30, come out, check the propane. Yeah, the one tank is gone. Switch to the second tank, turn it on. 
Go back in, turn on the fridge. Hmm, no clicks, no nothing. Okay, come, come back out, recheck the propane. <laughs> yep, it seems to be running, okay. Go back in, fridge, nothing. Okay, so stove on. Yeah, we got lots of propane, stove's working great. All right, what's going on? Turn on one of the lights, nothing. <laughs> so, so between 2 a.m. and 7, our battery ran completely out too because we only have just like the 12 volt car battery thing right now. So we realize that's uh, one of the first upgrades we need to make. We also do have a generator, but we left it at home because we haven't quite uh, debugged everything with it yet. It worked. <laughs> and the slide is in. Whew. That was a close one. It's a good thing those jumper cables came on Amazon. <laughs> Definitely came in handy. That's a win for the jumper cables. <laughs> we didn't have the generator, don't have anything, so we're gonna pack up just a little bit early today and uh, head home. So three nights is about what we can do boondocking now before our battery runs completely off. Thanks for joining us on our first camping adventure. Over the next two weeks, we've got in-depth reviews of our truck and our trailer, so be sure to check those out. And as always, we really appreciate your support by liking this video, leaving a comment, subscribing to our channel, and sharing this video with your friends. So thanks a lot. And remember, when you roam, everywhere, everywhere is home. home. Right after I started filming, all I get is Mel's butt. <laughs> well, we'll have to find a backup if, uh... Did you focus first?